see they're struggling with those umbrellas, the umbrellas they're using to block that wind, and people are having trouble holding the umbrellas up. Yeah, so an archer like Cara Kelly who shoots that back tension. Mm -hmm. she Boy, just she, pulled, she's slowly rolling through that release until it fires. She, she doesn't know when it's going to go off. There slowly is no pulling. There is no actual trigger on there. Mm -mm. You could see her back up just a little bit. Yeah, that wind's giving her fits. You could see her back up, her hand let loose of that tension. And this is, she's shooting the second longest target out there. Gave up five points on the first target. This is a stressful arrow for her. These archers are shooting for thousands of dollars, so it's not like this is just mm -mm. a trophy tournament they're yeah, out there. Yeah, you can see her Look bow her shaking back and forth. She's going to get short on the clock here pretty soon. This is such a tough spot to be in for her, trying to hang on to the lead. She's being really patient, holding a long time. That's a long target. Man, that's a long time. Oh, I feel bad for her. That's just a bad spot to be in. So what does that count? I don't know if they'll give her that with that bell going off, if that'll count as a five or if it'll be, I don't know. I don't know. If it's the three beeps, if it has to be the end of the signal. I've never seen that happen yeah, before. This wind is such a huge factor here. I knew it would play, and it's, we're seeing it in the first two targets. I can see Don Bailey's looking over to Mike. He's looking for some guidance on that, I think. Yeah. You can see Carr's frustration right there. She, she's, it's ridiculous. I could read her mm. lips there. She's so here. Wallace on the coyote. Good look at Kaylee there over her shoulder, shooting that long hill country. That's a good shot. That is a good shot. 10 points on any of these targets is going to be good. Good look at Emily there on your screen. Ponytail blowing in the wind. Ooh, she shot. That's a higher. I can't tell where that one scored. Let's see where we. Done. There's a 10 for Emily. 448. Oh, 12. She got a 12. Awesome. So that puts her at 450. 450. She's running away with it by not shooting eights. Coming into this eight points down, and she now has. A 14, 14 point, lead. point lead in just four targets. Sharon's on that Panther. She oh, got there it. she goes. Good she strong that. shot from Sharon. She is Emily McCarthy. Holy cow, tell us how you're feeling right now. I have so <laughs> many emotions. Um, <laughs> I hate to I hate to win and to shoot off like this after watching Cara have such an amazing weekend and come out here and it just it just changed and it's just I'm super excited, but yet I'm, yeah. I'm feeling for my competitors. I said Not you, only competitors, but good friends. I said you would have mixed emotions <laughs> over this, and we I, talked in the preview about how much wind would be a factor here, and to see that unfold like it did. I know you're happy with the win, but I sat here and talked about how bad I felt for Cara, too, having to deal with because she shot so solid, and this wind just completely brought her to her knees. So. Yeah. But Emily, tell tell us, because you handled it brilliantly. Four tens and a 12. You gave nothing back and uh, capitalized when you needed to. How did you do that? Uh, I don't know. I just, I won one other time when I was eight points behind in the wind. And I just thought, just do what I can do, make the most decisions. And on my card, I've lost ones in the winds too, because I didn't aim off and stuff. So on my card, it was like, aim off, silly. Like, so I was adjusting <laughs> and trying to just make the best shot make them count and that's all I knew I could do out here all right Emily well congratulations great win here we Thank are you. certainly happy My stuff for is you everything shot so great so I'm just so excited so <laughs> with that part of it congratulations right. Emily Thank you.